Lost Highs in Tennessee. Time to go live down to KIT. They're the ones that call when life gets in the way. Well, it's a drop back pass. We got a score. KIT, they've done it before. Touchdown, Tennessee. Facebook Live, Greg Scal and Knoxville Insurance Group. South Breeders Road, you know the address. Welcome to live from KIG. As he said, 220 South Peters Road. Just up from Fantasy World. Good morning, Crystal. Good morning, Mike Moran. Big game this weekend, and we'll get to that. Uh, welcome in November the 30th, the last day of November. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas around here. Archer's Barbecue, welcome in. Uh, last day, Drury Day. Rain, the animals probably gonna be pairing together tomorrow. Got more rain on the horizon, looks like. It's gonna warm up though. Good morning, Angie. John Fear, I will work Adirac Inn, I think it is, up there and uh, way up north. But welcome in, John. We uh, didn't go to live. We had a Black Friday uh, blackout. Didn't go live last Friday. I was playing uh, polar golf with my man, Dan Griffey. Um, Stooksy, welcome. Um, so we didn't do a live from KIG before the, the Vanderbilt game, but uh, before we get into that, the winner of, of the Missouri prize pack, the KIG live from KIG prize pack goes to Pete Crabtree. Congratulations, Pete. I'm sure I'll be uh, seeing you very soon or you'll be coming by the uh, uh, office uh, to pick up your prize pack. Uh, but as we wind down the season here in Knoxville on Rocky Top, we'll kind of go over the Vanderbilt game, the loss. We are not going bowling this year. Um, it's cold up there. You need to come down south, John. Um, 38 to 13 loss to the Vanderbilt Commodores over there in Nashville. Going into the fourth quarter, we had a 17 to 10 point score. Uh, looked like uh, we, um, we're still in the game, you know, one more score. We, you know, uh, could tie it up, but uh, just got absolutely blown out in the second half. And it's almost time to get on the uh, Pruitt hotline because obviously we need an offensive coordinator. Uh, Hugh Breeze, uh, as Cookley calls him, uh, Hugh, Hugh Freeze has been interviewed uh, to be the, uh, oh, my, oh yeah, Hugh Breeze. As Kigley says, has been interviewed. So hopefully, uh, by the end of the day, we should have an offensive coordinator. Maybe him. Maybe some um, somebody to run this offense. We we've got a, a good quarterback. I think for t t 2020 coming in, it's, uh, committed yesterday. So uh, things are looking up good on Rocky Top. Everybody's so down. We're not going bowling, but you know, as we look back, we did beat two top 20 teams something Bush Jones has never done in one season. Um, we didn't go, you know, we kind of blew the, uh, David Trenton L, welcome in. Um, kind of blew the uh, Vanderbilt game, so we're back to uh, the drawing board on that. But guess what? It's basketball time in Tennessee. Did you, have, did you happen to catch the Tennessee-Kansas game? Went to overtime, fifth-ranked uh, volunteers, uh, took on the Kansas Jayhawks, took them to to the wire, if you will, and uh, lost in overtime, but only dropped to number six. And we've got, I think, uh, not Sunday, but a week from Sunday, we've got the Gonzaga. Um, I think they're number one now, so we'll be playing them. Um, so hopefully uh, we got something to look forward to here on Rocky Top. Um, I digress a little bit. Google Reviews. Google Knoxville Insurance, and you'll see Knoxville Insurance Group, and give us a five-star review. Got another poster. You can't really read it, but I always give great service from Knoxville Insurance Group. Uh, we doze and never close here, 24-7. K-I-G-T-N.com, go to greg.com, whatever we need. We're an independent agency. If we can help you in any way, um, give us a call. We'll be happy to, if you're with a, a captive agency, Snake Farm, Allstate, Bo Brower, Big win for the Ohio State Buckeyes. It's hard for me to say that because I'm not a big Ohio State Buckeye fan, but 
beat the Wolverines like a drum. Uh, that game was O-B-E-R early um, in that game. But uh, since Tennessee's football season has come to a close, we have the SEC championship game tomorrow, uh, I think late afternoon. I'm mean, I got the, uh, the uh, exact starting time to kick off. But anyway, we're going to have a contest. Pick the final score, the winner, obviously, and the final score, uh, the winner gets a KIG prize pack. Uh, Alabama taking on Georgia. As many of y'all know, I grew up in uh, Ringo, Georgia, North Georgia, greater Chattanooga area, uh, but I always hate Alabama. So uh, the uh, early line was around 13 and a half. I think it's right now 13, Alabama 13. Uh, should be a good game. Should be kind of a shootout. Uh, we'll see if Georgia can slow down that quarterback. Um, but it should be an interesting game. And um, as we turn the page of November, uh, don't be a hater, Grego. Well, you know, growing up, I've always hated them. But I do respect them because we can't beat them. But as long as uh, Saban's there, it's going to be kind of hard to beat him. And uh, Dabo's not happy in Clemson because the uh, Clemson Tigers won handily, and uh, their fans are that, – that's my take on what's going to happen at Alabama. So the tradition continues, and the tide will keep rolling. Bert Hammond, welcome in, speaking of Alabama. But y'all have a great weekend, 694-9788, if we can help you out in any way. Uh, insurance needs, questions, comments. Predict the score of the Alabama-Georgia game to win a KIG prize pack. And as always, go Big Orange.